All right, so um, for part B, you should have gotten these answers. Haha, -ha, that was kind of tricky and mean of me to make you do that on your own. And um, now uh, to do part C, you're going to want to label the axes here, and I'm going to recommend you do the following. These seem like good labels for axes. Whoops. Now let me just move them around and make sure we got it all nice and labeled. And uh, that right there looks pretty decent to me. So that's how I would recommend labeling your axes. Kind of have them all nice, neat, and labeled like that. And then you're going to go ahead and plot your points. So the first thing is 0.0625 um, at 106. You want to put that about, oh, I'd say here. And um, 0 0.04 is at 68. Just kind of go in here. 60, 70, so about there. And let's see. Um, 0 0.0225, so the 0 0.025, 0 0.0225 is about at 38. So we'll put that about there. And let's see, 0 0.01 is about 17. We'll put that, oh, just about there. And of course, then we have 4 at 0 0.0025. And um, so relatively close to zero, we're going to get kind of get something about here. We actually do end up getting a decent line. Now, um, what we actually want to do here is we actually want to draw a line through these points. And I'm going to attempt to do that now because I have a program that can sort of do this. Um, so, whoops. Let me just try to do that now. And we'll see how this works out. So I got this guy here, got a line there, and maybe I can get a slope. So this is the kind of line we want to draw. Okay, so that looks cute. Wow, let's see if we can find a couple points here that we can calculate a slope from. So um, the closest I can find is I'm seeing um, this guy right here. And, you know, I tried to get it through 0, 0. So let's see what we can do to get a slope. Um, so that's part C. And then for part D, um, let's go ahead and get the slope. So um, I'm going to get 50 minus 0 over 0 0.03 minus 0. And now we'll see what that gives me for my slope. So I'm getting about 1667 for my slope. And if I were to do units on that, that would be newtons per meters squared, just to be safe. So that's part C right here, and part D right here. So hopefully that's helpful. And we'll do E and F next.